Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy. So today we are going to discuss about uh, different heart shapes in chest X-ray. So it's a new topic. So the first thing is uh, agonal string sign. Yeah, it is seen in uh, uh, transposition of great arteries. So here you can see the heart is enlarged. It appears as an egg. So all shape heart you can see, and the mediastinum is narrowed. And so there's uh, in transposition of great arteries uh, there's left atrial enlargement. You can see, and uh, and also the mediastinum is narrowed it's, it is due to thymic atrophy and uh, hyperinflated lungs these are compensatory uh, or secondary features and also there's uh, abnormal position of the main pulmonary artery and aorta or the orientation is different actually the main pulmonary artery is posterior to the aorta so it has a narrow superior mediastinum then it gives rise to this egg on a string appearance so it's TGA the second one is a snowman no figure of eight sign it is seen in uh, total anomalous pulmonary venous drainage mainly in the supracardiac type so here you can see widen superior mediastinum this widening is caused by dilated SVC then the innominate vessel and also by the left vertical veins so these things cause uh, widening of the superior mediastinum so it gives rise to figure 8 appearance or snowman appearance in supracardiac type total anomalous pulmonary venous relay these three vessels are dilated here yeah. So prominent SVC, left vertical vein and innominate vessel or brachiocephalic veins. Next thing is boot shaped heart. You can see the appearance is like a boot here. Yeah. So it is seen in tetralogy of fallot. In tetralogy of fallot there are four things as you know. There is uh, uh, obstruction of the left ventricle outflow tract and uh, enlargement of the or oh, hypertrophy of the right ventricle then the overriding of aorta and VSD so those are the four things seen in tetralogy of fallot and uh, the, the shape is due to upturned cardiac apex due to right ventricular hypertrophy so the upturned apex you can see upturned apex and also the pulmonary artery main pulmonary artery shadow is concave so these two things make the heart shape boot shape so next thing is uh, box shaped heart that's grossly a large heart you can see it's like a box you can see it's seen in Epstein anomaly in Epstein anomaly there's atrialization of the right ventricle so there's enlargement of the right atrium you can see right atrium is enlarged and it pushes the right ventricle upwards so this right ventricle is elevated and also there's a small pulp aorta and pulmonary artery so mediastinum is relatively narrowed superior mediastinum so it gives the box shaped heart seen in Epstein anomaly the next thing is a water bottle sign it is seen in large pericardial effusions you can see pericardium is grossly uh, filled with water so the heart is enlarged it gives so there's cardiomegaly and it, the shape is like a water bottle you can see a water bottle heart pericardial effusion large pericardial effusion when you do an ultrasound scan you can see the fluid within the pericardial sac the next thing is uh, we, have to dis we are going to discuss left atrial enlargement there are a few features in left atrial enlargement in here the uh, cardiomegaly is there and you can see a double density along the right heart border you can see it's due to 
left atrial enlargement and also the splaying of the carina carina lagal is widened here yeah, you can see so and also the prominent left atrial appendage or left auricle is also enlarged you can see the convexity in the left auricle so it is seen in left atrial enlargement next thing is pulmonary arterial hypertension here we can see uh, the main pulmonary artery is dilated here and also the right and left pulmonary arteries are also dilated and sometimes there is dilated right atrium so prominent right atrial border and also right ventricle sometimes enlarge and uh, when there is severe pulmonary artery hypertension the peripheral pruning will be there the peripheral vessels you won't see so the peripheral vessel you can't see the peripheral vessels in peripheral pruning so when there is severe pulmonary artery hypertension next thing is pulmonary venous hypertension also known as pulmonary edema acute pulmonary edema you can see batwing appearance so batwing appearance you can see there is cardiomegaly also cardiomegaly next one is pulmonary venous hypertension or pulmonary edema and uh, it is uh, seen in uh, acute left ventricular failure you can see batwing appearance due to enlarge or engorgement of pulmonary veins here there is cardiomegaly also in severe left ventricular failure there will be pulmonary pleural effusion mainly on the right side next one is uh, here the mitral replacement with right side pulmonary edema you can see replacement of the mitral valve the mitral valve position and uh, there is engorgement or dilated pulmonary veins mainly on right side then the next thing is figure tree sign it is seen in coarctation of aorta you can see figure tree upper part of the figure tree is due to dilated or pre stenotic dilatation and lower part is due to post stenotic dilatation of the aorta sometimes there is dilated left subclavian artery and also you can see here subtle rib notching here due to collateral circulation rib notching also seen in the inferior part of the ribs so that concludes heart shapes in the radiology made easy series so please subscribe our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this